guys, it's Tiffany with Spot on Spirit, Psychic, Reiki Master, and Spirit Medium. Thank you for tuning in to this truly insightful video. Keep it rocking because Todd Gorney of KTBG Radio will be giving us a brief overview of this zodiac sign. Don't go anywhere because John Devon, aka The Foundation, aka my boyfriend, will be reading an in-depth synopsis of my from Linda Goodman's Sun Sign Astrology book. Remember, be original and be you. Be boo bafu. Hello, this is Todd Gorney from KTBG Radio coming at you live 24 7. Keep it rocking. Booyah! And my newest one, boom! I want to thank people for listening, and I'm doing the horoscopes from 1 through 12 all the way, all the months. So thank you for listening and enjoy. Aries, March 21st through April 19th. Symbol, Ram. Ruling planet, Mars. House ruled, first. Element, fire. Mode, cardinal. Keyword, assert. Aries are energetic, forceful, and outgoing, like the energy of the first rush of springtime. They move into the world in a headstrong, pioneering way and prefer starting to finishing. They tend to rush into things and may also be impatient. They have great vitality and a tremendous need to be physically active. Thank you for listening and if you like what you hear, please share. Hey, this is a special shout out to Philip Darrow, who's in a band called Pompous. My thanks to him, and please listen to the band Pompous. PMA, remember those three letters because they're important to your life. P M A. Positive mental attitude. If you don't have that, you're missing out on life. Thank you. Aries the Ram, March 21st through April 20th. How to recognize Aries. Have you recently met an unusual friendly person with a forceful manner, a firm hand clasp and an instant smile? Get ready for a dizzy dash around the mulberry bush. You've probably just been adopted by an Aries, especially if you found it a little tough to take the lead in the conversation. Is he committed to some idealistic cause and angrily defending the underdog? That figures. Male or female, these people will fight for what they feel is an injustice on the spot, and they're not bashful about voicing their opinions. The Ram will talk back to a traffic cop or an armed gangster with equal vigor if either one happens to annoy him. He may regret it later, but caution won't concern him in the heat of the moment. Mars people come straight to the point with no shilly-shallying. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It represents birth, as Pisces represents death and consciousness of the soul. The ram is conscious only of himself. He's the infant of the zodiac, the newborn baby, completely absorbed with his own toes and fingers. His needs come first. An infant doesn't care whether or not his parents or the neighbors are sleeping. When he's hungry or wet, he yowls in discomfort. He wants his bottle, and he wants his diaper changed now. And don't be pokey about it. When the Aries person has an idea or something he wants to get off his mind, he'll call you at four in the morning without a qualm. Why shouldn't you be awake to listen to him? He's awake. That's all that counts. He wants something. He gets it. Like the infant, Aries is concerned with the world only as it relates to himself. 
But who could call the small baby truly selfish? He's perfectly willing to lavish his smiles and favors on those who satisfy his demands. It's hard to resist a baby because he's so totally unaware that he's causing anyone the slightest inconvenience. So it is with the ram. His innocence hangs over him and mellows his aggressiveness like the innocence of the newborn softens his egocentricity. This disarming native is also why Ares people are so fearless. The baby fears nothing and no one until he gets burned. Even then he'll trustingly try again when he's forgotten the hurt. There's not a trace of cunning while in the ram and he'll remain this way throughout his lifetime forever believing with all his heart, always falling down and getting up again to try once more. Any doubts he collects along the way are immediately displaced by the next person who's kind to him, just as the baby forgets the pain of the safety pin that accidentally stuck in his leg the next time someone sprinkles the powder. The ram can make believe from here to tomorrow and spin fabulous dreams, but he can't lie worth a tinker. What you see before you is what he is. There's nothing hidden or complicated about him. He's just as vulnerable as the baby and just as helpless. When stronger, more mature people force him or take things away from him, he reacts in the only manner he knows, yelling and causing so much disturbance that people give in just to get peace. He doesn't need delicate strategy. Lung power and self-absorbed determination suffice beautifully to allow him to get his way. Perhaps helpless is not the right word. Vulnerable, yes. But helpless, no. It's a cinch to recognize the physical appearance of the ram. Ares people have decided features usually sharp, seldom soft or blurred. The well-marked brows often join with the narrow bridge of the nose and forming the sign of the ram. Perhaps as a warning to anyone, with the silly idea of trying to stop or conquer him that those symbolic horns mean business. You may notice a mole or a scar on the head or face, a reddish cast to the hair in the sunlight, and more color than average, in the complexion. You may also sense invisible sparks shooting out in all directions. The movements will usually be quick and capable, with a mental process to match. Both the male and female rams normally have broad shoulders, and they may walk with the body slightly bent forward, leading with the head so to speak, and almost always in a great hurry. Often, they're in a hurry to get to a brick building to knock down, though their horns may get bent in the budding. There's little that's graceful about the ram, unless it's his smooth way of handling a crisis, which never fails to surprise people who understand him. The bone structure is fine and strong, and few Aries people slump. Their posture reflects their supreme ego and self-confidence. If you see an Aries with drooping shoulders, he's probably a sheep type who was badly hurt in the ego when he was young. It may take him some time to recover if the wounds went deep, but he'll straighten up someday. You can count on it. Nothing keeps these people down forever. Failure least of all. The Mars-ruled person will look you straight in the eye with unbashed honesty and rather touching faith. You're his friend, aren't you? You like him, don't you? No? Then the tears will start, but inside. He'll never show it on the surface if he can help it. If you see him openly weeping, you can be certain that he's been cut to the very soul in some way. Ares would rather be caught dead than be caught weak and some of them literally risk the former to avoid the latter. The ram will seldom glance nervously around the room, 
When he does, he's no longer interested in talking with you. Something else has caught his attention, and for the moment you are forgotten. So is what you are saying. Don't be offended. Remember the baby and his toes and fingers? He will undoubtedly be at the head of his own chosen career, or involved in a profession on his own. If he's not, then you can easily recognize him by the discontent he clearly shows at being forced to submit to others. You can look for a liberal attitude, lavish generosity with both time and material things, and a marked desire to lead all the marches with loud symbols. But don't look for subtlety, tact, or humility. The average Aryan was behind the barn door when those qualities were passed out. He's a little short on patience, too. In a coffee shop, he'll quickly criticize the waitress and the sandwich. If the first is fresh and the second is stale. But he'll probably leave an unnecessarily big tip when the service is good. Aries is very direct, to put it mildly. Deceptiveness and deviousness are entirely foreign to the Mars nature. Frankness and refreshing honesty are Aryan trademarks. Yet rams don't make the best credit risks. Some of them lack stability and evidence a childlike lack of responsibility. Even those who have matured can forget debts in the excitement of the ever-present new challenge of the moment, which will always consume their entire attention. They'll eventually pay their bills cheerfully and willingly, but you may be out of breath when you catch up with them. Although Ares is the firebrand who forges his way through life with daring, initiative, and enterprise, there's a strange quirk to his bravery. He'll face the abominable snowman or the Frankenstein monster without the slightest trace of fear. Yet he can't stand physical pain. He's never a moral coward, but he can be a huge sissy about anything that hurts. The dentist is not one of his favorite people. Every Aryan at some time in his life will indulge in rash behavior that brings an injury to the head or face. Cuts and burns are also likely, and severe or even migraine headaches which could stem from kidney infections. The ram would be wise to steal himself and see that dentist regularly, guard his eyesight, watch his diet, treat head cold seriously, and stay away from alcohol. Not only bad for the kidneys, but quite combustible when combined with the Mars temper. Skin rashes, painful kneecaps, and stomach disorders also plague those born in late March or April. The ram's constitution is strong and tough. If he doesn't abuse it, which he usually does, by ignoring it, when you see him confined to bed with little to say, you know he's really sick. Even so, it may require handcuffs to keep him down. He can survive fevers high enough to kill the average person, and many of them are brought on by his headstrong Mars tendency to carry through under adverse circumstances at the wrong times with the wrong people. The angry impatience and frustration this always triggers is the real cause of his health problems. His reaction to delay makes him ill, and the conscious cultivation of patience and cautious deliberation would keep the doctor away. Not that he'll take such advice. He keeps the doctor away for years at a time anyhow, until he either drops in exhaustion or reaches an age when he gets more sensible. There's not much danger of an Aries becoming addicted to drugs. Normally, the ram won't even take a sleeping pill. He'd much rather stay wide awake. He's afraid he might miss something. Because of his forceful optimism, Aries, along with the other fire signs, Leo and Sagittarius, seldom falls victim to the chronic lingering diseases which astrology has always taught and medical science now realizes are triggered or intensified by melancholy or pessimism. 
the fire signs are more susceptible to raging fevers, fulminating infections, strokes, high blood pressure, and violently acute illness. Say what you will about his impulsiveness, the ram is seldom guilty of gloom. The seeds of depression, even if planted, will die a quick death in Aryan soil. But that precious idea Ares holds, that no one else can do anything as efficiently as he can, may run away with him and lead to a thousand disasters. He'll carry through his schemes with dash and confidence, seldom realizing that he's overreaching himself and headed for ulcers or a nervous breakdown. No one ever accuses him of laziness. Because of their guileless nature, subtle tricks of strategy are impossible for those people. One Aries I know well, with his fiery, contagious enthusiasm, got a financial angel to back one of his original ideas. Just as the deal was about to be closed, and this ram was about to realize his fondest dreams, the angel logically suggested that a well-known expert oversee the operation. The Ares was positive that no one could run it as well as himself, and he was fearful of getting involved with someone from whom he might have to take orders. So he responded quickly, with the usual Ares humility. He waved his cigar in the air, in a superior gesture, and asked bluntly, How do you want your no, fast or slow? The financial angel just as quickly withdrew his backing, and the poor Ares promoter soon developed a severe case of business leprosy. For many frustrating months, those who had formerly been behind him 100% were mysteriously out to lunch or in Europe every time he called. A little tactful diplomacy could have kept his dream from exploding, but it takes the average ram many years to reach the diplomacy of an Aryan like Dean Rusk. People who have arrived at the top through hard and patient work justifiably resent an aggressive Ares who thinks he knows far more with far less experience. He yearns modesty and humility only after many dismal failures. But once he's learned, he can make a project pay off like a gusher. Adding stacks of creative ideas and intuitively making the right moves, he reaches leadership only by first respecting those above him in credit and stature. Yet success, when it comes, is normally gigantic and impressive. Strangely, most Aries people often create wealth for others rather than for themselves. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Jay Fratt of the Conservative Hippie Podcast. I just wanted to give you a quick breather. While in just a moment, we're going to get you back to the smooth audio recording from John Devon reading about the best zodiac sign of the bunch, your zodiac sign, from Linda Goodman's Sun Sign Astrology book. It's crazy to find all these unique areas that relate to you and your sun sign. Please take a moment when you finish listening to leave a comment with a few traits you identify with your zodiac sign. And if you like what you're hearing, subscribe, like, and share. John Devon has also been featured reading some of the zodiac signs for Stoner Horoscopes at stonerhoroscopes.com. They're uploaded at the beginning of each month for all 12 of the zodiac signs. And yep, they even make it into a podcast, available on iTunes and Google Play. I would like to take a moment to thank him for his friendship and time that he invests to share all the rich goodness with you fine people. I would also like to thank him for joining me on the Conservative Hippie Podcast. John has been a guest twice on the Conservative Hippie Podcast. You can find those episodes on iTunes, Google Play, and at theconservativehippie.com. Well, thanks again for listening, and I hope to see or hear from you. I want to finish my brief intermission with a shout-out to Todd Gorney of KTBG Radio, Tiffany the Reiki Master Psychic Medium found at Spot on Spirit, and the one and only Adora Zen, writer of Stoner Horoscopes, found on Twitter, at Adora Zen. Always remember to be original, be you, be boo And now, back to your listening pleasure. Enjoy!
most Aries people often create wealth for others rather than for themselves. Lots of rams pay rent most of their lives and seldom own their own home. It doesn't seem to break the Mars spirit that cash doesn't always cling to him, perhaps because what he seeks is not necessarily in the bank. Though Ares pushes ahead with confidence, caring little for the feelings of others, and his attitude, especially in youth, is me first. He can be the warmest and most generous of all the sun signs. He's not cruel. He just honestly believes that he can do anything better than anyone else. And he's psychologically unable to stand by while others fumble and flop. Give him a choice of money or glory, and he'll take glory anytime. He's as fond of a dollar bill as the next person, but he's just a few shades fonder of praise and fame. The Ram has a way of making instant decisions without the authority of his superiors. His speech can be satirical and cutting and invective. Aryan anger flashes forth with the speed of sound, but it's usually gone before the victim knows what it's all about, and the happy, childlike smile quickly returns. One can't help being reminded of a certain impulsive Ram. Nikita, who once banged his shoe in a fit of childish temper on a table at the United Nations in full view of a television audience, and the devil take the hindermost. He was being ignored, and what Arian cares about tact when he's being ignored? Yet this same Ares was truly heartbroken when he missed enjoying the magic wonder of Disneyland. Mars people are often accused of having a terrible temper. They have. But they also have a complete inability to remain angry. And once over with, the grievance is generally buried and forgotten. He's hurt and surprised that you still remember the rash things he said, but didn't mean. Given the chance, Ares will apologize to his worst enemy regardless of any dire threats he made in the throes of emotion. He seeks acceptance, even while he heedlessly and deliberately courts rejection. Ares people seldom become angry with individuals. You may get the shower of sparks, but the fire is actually directed toward an idea or a situation he finds intolerable. The ram is capable of trying to tell a small white lie if it will put him foremost or save one of his cherished ideals. But most of the time, he has little use for lies, which is fortunate because he gets caught every time. Blunt candor is quicker, and since the main interest is in getting to the point in a hurry, he prefers to tell the truth. He has no time at all for gossip. That involves discussing others, and Ares is far too interested in himself to waste any excess energy speculating on the inner secrets, behavior, or motives of anyone else. Besides, people are normally either black or white to him. He doesn't bother with the gray tones. Don't mistake this for prejudice, however. If he has heavy planetary afflictions of his natal chart, the Ares' impulsive disregard for the facts may come forth in the form of cruelty or prejudice, but this is extremely rare. The typical ram will dine with beggars and kings with equal ease and genuine affection. Any reputation he gets for prejudice comes from his tendency to lump people into two distinct camps, his friends and his enemies, and he'll expect you to line them up the same way if you're close to him. Despite his shocking forwardness, the Ram can also be the epitome of social grace. He can converse for hours in an exciting, interesting manner on subject he knows absolutely nothing about. There's a lot of surface polish to cover that aggressive Mars drive. Patience with detail isn't his strong point. He'd rather leave the minor, petty statistics to someone else. That's sensible enough. 
someone else would handle them far more efficiently. Time spent pinning down the facts is resented because the ram cares nothing for yesterday's lessons, and tomorrow is too far away to worry about. Today is his natural residence. This hour and this minute, he's totally consumed in the action of the present. A realist, yet a decided idealist, Aries often defies emotional description. No one can show such tough, forceful behavior, yet few others are capable of such sentimentality, wistful innocence, and belief in miracles. Mars people are literally incapable of accepting defeat. They won't recognize it, even when it stares them in the face. They're incurable optimists about the end result of anything from love to a baseball game. Being very clear in fighters, the Rams battle best with their heads, meaning their minds. They enjoy opposition because of the challenge it presents. And they'll go out of their way to meet an obstacle and conquer it long before it comes to them, and often when it might have been headed in the opposite direction. They don't wait around for success to drop in their laps either. They'll chase it at a furious pace, which is why you'll find very few Aryans on welfare lists. Just thinking about the energy of the ram wears out most people. But Aryans are also capable of being calm, wise, and serious when they choose. Unfortunately, they usually don't choose until youth has passed and maturity has mellowed their rash idealism and sense of driving haste. They can arouse popular sympathy easily, yet they don't necessarily make good politicians. Thomas Jefferson and Eugene McCarthy are rare exceptions to the rule. Of all the Aryans who have tossed their hats in the ring, most have had comparatively brief or troubled political careers. We haven't had an Aries president in the United States since John Tyler in 1840. The field of politics is difficult for the average ram. For one thing, he's not the very best economist in the world. For another, he's impulsive in his speech, and he hates to hedge. Both deadly traits for a politician. Most politicians wait to see what people want before airing their positions. The average Aries has his own ideas of what the people need. Never mind what they want, and he'll see that they get it sooner than might be politically expedient. Still, he's so idealistic that once the Aryan has come before the public, he fires their imagination and makes them believe in themselves again. The freshness of Mars' candor can blow through the smoke of political backrooms like a breeze. But most Aries people are usually happier in business or the creative arts, where they're so desperately needed. Others may excel in planning strategy. Calmer heads and more practical minds may be better at efficient organization. But without the direct action, energy, and originality of the Rams, the most desirable projects would fall to the ground or make little headway. You may find an occasional Aryan who is shy, but you'll never find one who's uncertain where he stands. It's difficult to express your own individuality around these people. Aries is far happier when he's talking about himself and his plans than about anybody or anything else, with the exception of the loved one, when he's caught in the clutches of a romance. Once you get his interest, and lots of luck, he'll be an attentive listener, especially if your ideas are exciting and progressive. He'll promote you to the skies, and offer you his time, money, sympathy, and loyalty. When you're in the hospital, he may forget to send a card, but he may choose the hospital for you, drive you there himself, and refer you to his own doctor, who will be superior to Pasture and both of the Mayo brothers. 
Once involved in helping you through a rough time, Aries will walk the extra mile without hesitation. But show your gratitude, please. He'll be deeply hurt, if not downright angry, when you don't appreciate his strenuous actions, which went far beyond the call of duty, and also probably far beyond what you needed or wanted. He enjoys doing favors. The larger the charitable gesture, the better. But the ram wants his credit when it's coming to him. If thanks are withheld, however, it probably won't keep him from helping again. His amazing faith in himself is matched only by his naive trust in others, which is why he's almost constantly disillusioned and complaining that someone has let him down. Of course, he won't stay down long. He'll pick himself up, dust himself off, and soon be ready, willing, and able to blast away again after a typical binge of a violent but brief depression. The ram gives such an impression of sincerity that it's startling to face his sheer audacity when he claims for a fact something he knows, or should know, to be untrue. Accuse him of dishonesty, and he'll look at you in amazement with candid eyes open wide in utter horror that you could doubt him. He can wear binders and earplugs to shut out anything he doesn't want to believe, even when his position is completely untenable. He'll bravely stick to his guns and work for the lost cause with earnest conviction. Still, he can change his mind about an opinion you thought he was born with in a moment of fast decision. And when he does, it's impossible for him to regain his former point of view let alone remember it. His urge to toss the past in the trash can and go forward at full speed. One of the chief reasons he adapts to new locations and people so painlessly makes him think those who try to reason with him are interfering with his progress. Then he's liable to throw what little tact he has to the four winds. The ultra-conservative who weighs every word and decision, is maddening to the Mars souls, who can communicate their annoyance and frustration with clear and abundant meaning. So it's easy to see why they sometimes make such bitter enemies of older, wiser heads. Ares has an innocent, wistful facet to his nature, and a kind of eternal, joyous, naive faith blended with the blind zeal of the born crusader. Like the diamond, his Mars horns are hard and tough to crack. He sees bright red frequently, but when the sparks have disappeared, he becomes as cheerful and openly friendly as the happy Aryan daisy. His metal is iron, and its unbendable strength gives him nine times as many lives to live as others. Nine times as many chances of winning the battle. The fire that consumes his spirit can be a flaming torch that lights the way to courage for anyone who recognizes his great idealism. He is the pioneer, always leading others onward to an impossible goal. His beautiful iron faith is pure, unmixed with alloys of hypocrisy and greed. He seldom amasses a fortune, and if he did, he would be too busy to stop and count it. Help yourself to his money, clothes, or time. He always has some to spare. However pressed or poor he may be temporarily, the ram knows that breed cast on the waters not only feeds his ego and returns again increased, but it makes people happy. One of the things he enjoys most in life. To Aries, miracles are a dime a dozen. If you run out, he'll make you some more. Wrapped in brave, scarlet dreams. Be original and be you. Be boo ba boo well, you're just going out and doing things. A lot of people have ideas. 
but that's where it stops. Okay. I do enjoy executing ideas. They're the, always the ones that say, I had that idea. I wanted to do that. I had that idea. An idea is nothing. An idea is the easiest part. It's the execution of the idea that's so hard, in my opinion. Right. It really, it really is. You know, and then when you, when you're around other creative people and they have an idea, it's so wonderful to say, that's a great idea. I've got that in my pocket. It's hard to complete them. It's, it's sometimes like reading a really good book. Yeah. You get into a really good book. You kind of don't want to read it. You don't want it to be over. <laughs> it's hard to, to finish, you know, like you, you start off ideas and then once you finish it, it's over, but you need to know that there's more ideas. So you need to finish it and, and get to your next great idea.